The Ride War Pig. Who is this board for exactly? So the Ride Warpig is one of Ride's best-selling boards of all time, and with its volume shift and unique shape, this really, really changed the way a lot of snowboard companies look at snowboards. So right off the bat, obviously it has a very directional shape where we've got a little bit longer nose, we've got that shorter, squattier tail, but don't let the shape fool you. The stance is actually centered up on the side cut. So when you actually are riding this thing on flat snow, it feels really, really similar to a twin tip board, but when you get this thing into deep snow, it wants to float like a powder board. So this thing really is truly an all mountain park to powder one board quiver killer. And then mentioning that volume shift where it's actually a little bit shorter, a little bit stiffer and a little bit wider, you're actually gonna downsize about six to 10 centimeters from what you would usually be riding. And one of the craziest things about this board is with those wider widths overall, the combination of their carbon array and their slim walls, this thing is actually incredible incredibly quick from edge to edge, and it doesn't actually feel like a wide board. So who is this board for exactly? This is for that rider that really wants one board that can absolutely ride everywhere, park to powder and everywhere in between. Going back to the shape, when we talked about the side cut, how your stance is centered up from contact point to contact point, it's almost like they took a twin tip board and took a little bit off of the tail and then stuck it on the nose. So again, when you're riding on that flat snow and you're riding the park, it feels like a twin tip board. But when you do get it into the deep snow, that extra length of the nose, is going to want to lift the board up and that shorter squat of your tail is going to want to sit down. Another thing that's really cool about this thing is with that volume shift, if you are a rider who's maybe a little bit heavier for your height, you can basically get a board that's actually going to fit you lengthwise, but it's going to hold your weight so you don't have to buy a standard shape board in a length that's a little bit longer than you feel comfortable on. And another great thing to note too is with that extra width through the middle, if you're a rider with a size 13 or bigger, this board, even the 148, is plenty wide. 